Um, I want to talk about uh, your podcast. Is that okay? I'd love it. So, so uh, it's a podcast called Working It Out. And it's uh, because I can't tour, I'm like working out my new hour of material on a podcast every week for a year. Like my, my tour is rescheduled for a year from now. Yeah. So all I right. do it every week. So I'll have, I had John Mulaney, Hannah Gadsby, David Sedaris, like all these people. And like we work out material. And then um, I sometimes do these prompts, uh, which are kind of like writing prompts that I do for myself. And then I ask the guests. So like, I'll ask you, can I ask you one? Yeah, sure. Do you remember a smell from your childhood? Oh, so many. Uh, I, Play-Doh, I think, is a big smell for a lot Play-Doh's of Play-Doh's huge. That's a good one. A lot of this is a popular one, right? No, but I no one said that yet. But I think about Play-Doh's the smell all the time. Oh, and and it makes you want to eat it. it smells. Well, so you just good. want to eat it. Why yeah. would Jimmy? Why wouldn't you eat it? Yeah, I don't know. You. Should. I still eat it. <laughs> I'm a grown man. I eat Play-Doh. No, you don't eat Play-Doh. You shouldn't eat Play-Doh at all. But you know what I have is. My, when I was growing up, my parents had air conditioning in their bedroom, and it was the only one in the house. And it was Massachusetts, and whenever it would get really, really hot in the summer, me and my brother would knock on their door, like one, two in the morning, we're boiling hot. We have like our blankets and pillows, and we're like, let us in. And when your children show up at your bedroom door with blankets and pillows, there's nothing you can do about it. And so they'd let us in, and we'd lie on the floor, and I, this is the smell memory, the smell of carpet and combined with the smell of air conditioning, which I don't even know what it is, but I don't think it's that healthy. Uh, and, but it's a very fond memory because it just makes me think of like, I think all I wanted in life was just to be a, around my parents, but for them not to talk. <laughs> and, I, and I think that's what they wanted from me too. And I think in some ways, that's what we all want. We just want to be around the people we love, but nobody talks. I like that, dude. This, but what, what, this is called like the slow round? So this is a slow round. Another, another slow round question is called on a loop. And it's like, do you have a memory from your childhood where it's on a loop, but it's not even a story. It's just like a thing that you keep remembering. Oh, gosh. So um, I had one. I had one that was like, when, first day of kindergarten at Patton School in Shrewsbury, Massachusetts, the older kids, which was second graders, which seemed, it seemed like they were 10 feet tall, they, these two second graders took us to the bathroom to show us where it was. And we walked in and then I didn't have to use the restroom. And so I just walked out, but I was the only person. And this one second grader, he goes, uh, get in there and then i just like scurried back into the bathroom and i i remember it to this day just like get in there i can't i can't forget it wow that no i know what you're kind of talking about like a weird thing where you're like it's not a real memory it's nothing it just happened in your life yeah it's just a random thing that i can't get out of my head i, I just thought of another smell what's that do you remember when someone vomited in your school? Oh my God, but the, they, they bring in the thing? <laughs> like sawdust or something? <laughs> the combination of throw up smell and sawdust? <laughs> yes, what was that? I just thought of it now. I've never heard of that, co was the company out of business? Are they okay? We don't know. I don't know. Oh, we gotta find out well, who, who makes that stuff, but this is fantastic. Isn't that great? I love that idea. That's a great idea. Oh, dude, I can't wait. I need stuff to listen to. So I'm so oh. sorry you this podcast. I'm so proud of it. You know, like I've, you know, you, I, I've always wanted to do a show where I can invite people on, but like I'm always on tour and this has been like an opportunity to try this totally new thing. As soon as we're done talking, I want to listen to you talk more. That makes me so happy. <laughs> and I'm going to read, I'm going to get, I'm going to kindle that your book. Paper white the book. Kindle the book. Read the book. Look at that. That's it. That's the next cover. Mike Birbiglia, uh, you're one of my faves, bud. Stay safe, pal, okay? You too. You too. Thank you, buddy. Uh, uh -huh.